Hey, it is Greg, aka Dadpad Gaming, and today I am coming at you with a review for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Resident Evil 4 is one of the most important games ever made. Some may argue the greatest game ever made, and some will even argue on whether or not Resident Evil 4 was the first game to implement an over-the-shoulder aiming system. But what is undeniable is the fact that Resident Evil 4 absolutely mastered and popularized the concept of over-the-shoulder shooting systems. Since then, hundreds if not thousands of games have taken this mechanic and today it is a traditional hallmark in the gaming industry. Today, let's find out if Resident Evil 4 Remake is just as groundbreaking. Capcom has been on fire with their new RE engine for quite some time now. Here we are with Resident Evil 4, a title that people have been yelling from the rooftops to receive a remake for quite some time. And it's finally here. Our boy Leon S. Kennedy is set out on a mission to Spain to recover none other than Ashley, the president's daughter. But of course, because this is Resident Evil, Things get weird and very, very heavy on zombies. And of course, from here, we take a 20 hour ride with Leon and Ashley to Headshot, Roundhouse, and German Suplex our way to the bottom of this mystery. Let's find out exactly how good it is. As always, let's start out first with what exactly Resident Evil does well. The first thing that is immediately noticeable, just like every other game to release on Capcom's proprietary RE engine, is the fact that this is a really good looking game. Character models look solid, backgrounds and textures look amazing. I spent most of my time in the ray tracing mode, and because of that, the lighting being a bit more dynamic absolutely added many of layers to the atmosphere. And quite honestly, atmosphere is extremely important here because while Resident Evil 4 Remake does not contain many jump scares, it's often the sound design and the atmosphere that allows you to start to get nervous about what's going on here. You'll definitely get your share of walking down dimly or inconsistently lit corridors with all types of creaks and cracks in the floor and the walls and definitely plenty of ambient sound from zombies in the distance as you get closer and closer until you actually engage in combat. And each of these moments is amplified by the use of any headset that allows for 3D sound or even surround sound systems. While this is a statement that should go for about any game in 2023, it is a double factor for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Another obvious thing that we can see is definitely a positive, simply here from the gameplay footage, shooting and combat mechanics feel really good here, probably the best they've ever felt in Resident Evil at any point in the franchise. It is possible that some people will prefer the first person mechanics from Resident Evil 7 and 8, but it's undeniable that this is some of the best third person shooting in the gaming industry today. Whether you want to force your enemy to fall or drop a held item by shooting a limb or maybe a headshot or even to line up multiple enemies to get multiple shots with armor piercing rounds, Resident Evil 4 is consistent in the fact that it lets each player handle each combat scenario in almost any way that they want. They've even added in a new dodging, parry, and stealth system so that players can decide exactly what type of badass they want our boy Leon to be. The one thing that RE4 Remake has going for it 
that can't necessarily be shown here is the story. And let me be clear, RE4 Remake doesn't achieve any type of groundbreaking narrative achievements, but what it does here is a little bit more interesting in some ways. It manages to somehow modernize the idea of what things look like when they were cool in the age of 2004. There are plenty of times that I found myself oddly reacting to a lot of inappropriately placed one-liners that Leon would drop in dire moments. And while some people may find that to be a bit agitating, I couldn't help but enjoy exactly how goofy it came off. There's honestly just something special about being in the midst of a battle to the death with the evil overlord of the T-Virus and for some reason Leon decides to acknowledge exactly how ugly his adversary is mid-battle. It's unnecessary, but it's kind of funny. And honestly, in 2023, a little bit of that early 2000s cheese is kind of what's needed. It straddles the fence of being truly cringeworthy and super nostalgic, and something about that made it very enjoyable. Maybe it's a guilty pleasure, I don't know, but I really enjoy the whimsical tone that this game presents at times. As always, I do have grievances with this title. Now, this could be a game breaker for some, but Resident Evil 4 really isn't all that scary. And despite how important Resident Evil 4 is to the gaming industry, it's never really been scary. It was a marvel in gameplay at the time that helped this game to become such a legendary title. And while I absolutely enjoyed the awkwardly toned Resident Evil 4, there are going to be plenty of people out there that find it very difficult to really buy into this game. The transition from super evil dark corporation messing around with bioengineered chemicals to a evil munchkin man and bug bites that infect people might be a bit much for some. In a lot of ways, I have to liken RE4 Remake to pro wrestling. You're either in or you're not because things get hella wonky. Now, away from these minor issues that are really going to be a thing of preference, there is actually one major issue in the gameplay here. And that boils down to the fact that the camera sometimes can absolutely outright murder you. Now, I do understand that this is a mainstay issue with most third person games. However, there are a couple times that it was nearly impossible to survive or later in the game and some of the more intimate boss battle encounters, it absolutely ruined some of the more cinematic portions of those battles. And also, being stuck in a corner in RE4 is not the place to be, mainly because when this happens, not only do you have to fight your way out of it, but the camera usually goes berserk, making an already intense situation almost infuriating at times. And while additional side quests have been added to RE4, they're not really much of a game changer. They usually go about, hey, shoot these five medallions in the area, kill these random rats or snakes, or backtrack to a previous room to dispatch a mini boss. And while these are absolutely additions to the game, you aren't really missing anything at all if you decide not to do them. Other than missing out on a couple items that are tied to a currency you can only receive from side quest, I can assure you, you won't be missing out on anything that adds to the narrative, nor will you be having any water cooler conversations about any of these side quests. And despite the fact that there is a new stealth system implemented, it is nice for a quick one kill or two. But by no means is this something that will get you far in RE4 Remake. A lot of times it may help you to take one or two enemies down, but in a game where most combat scenarios are almost wave based, it's hard to argue that there's really even a point to it at all. As the smoke clears and all the hype fades away, 
Resident Evil 4 Remake is still a great game. Capcom has done a superb job of making RE4 feel familiar and new all at the same time, and has absolutely set the golden standard for what remakes should be in moving forward. Despite the fact that some will always be more prone to levitate towards the survival horror titles in Resident Evil's franchise, RE4 Remake is an excellent callback to the beginning of the action horror titles that we know today. While 4 Remake is absolutely better than RE4 OG in every way, it just doesn't have the same innovation and trailblazing that the OG version brought to the industry. Despite RE4 Remake being better than the OG version, it's simply just not as important in the grand scheme of things. I'm going to give Resident Evil 4 Remake a 9 out of 10. As always, thank you so much for listening. If you appreciate our content, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out our channel a bunch. And be sure to also sound off in the comments. Let me know what you thought about Resident Evil 4 Remake, or maybe if you think Resident Evil OG is better than this version. Whatever it is, I'll be right there in the comments with you, speaking my piece as well. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day.